devotions the vast body of salt water that covers a considerable portion of the earth's surface is called as ocean there are three major oceans the pacific the atlantic and the indian but the waters of the arctic and antarctic are also described as oceans these five oceans are not separate areas of water but form one continuous oceanic mass oceans are so deep and vast that if all the irregularities on the earth like the mountains plateaus hills valleys oceanic trenches etc were adjusted into a uniformly smooth surface the oceanic waters would engulf the entire surface of the depth of 3650 meters it is estimated that nearly 330000 cubic kilometers of sea water reaches the atmosphere annually through evaporation which is returned to the earth's surface through different forms of precipitation also present in the sea water are dissolved gases from the atmosphere including nitrogen oxygen and carbon dioxide calcium silicon and phosphate dissolved in the sea water are used by marine creatures to form shells and skeletons density of the ocean water the density of ocean water is an important factor in causing ocean currents and is related to the interaction of salinity and temperature it varies both horizontally and vertically and increases with an increase in salinity which in turn increases with an increase in temperature density increases with depth also as the denser water sinks displacing the lighter water upwards the temperature of the ocean water the temperature of the surface water varies between minus 2 degrees celsius and 29 degrees celsius ice will begin to form if temperature drops below minus 2 degrees celsius the variations in temperature and salinity are observed only in the surface waters in the deep waters these two remain fairly constant the ocean currents no part of the ocean is completely still although in the ocean depths the movement of water is extremely slow causes the prevailing winds sweep surface water along to form drift currents other factors affecting the currents are the rotation of the earth the configuration of ocean bed and the shape of the land masses the causes of currents that are not powered by winds are related to the density of ocean water which varies according to temperature and salinity waves and tides waves the most familiar features of oceans and seas are the movements of oscillation caused mainly by the wind blowing over an open stretch of water the shape of the waves move across the water but the water particles rotate in a circular orbit without any lateral movement as waves approach shallow water the crests tend to crowd together tsunami which are sometimes called tidal waves have no connection with tides as already studied by you these are mainly caused by the earthquakes the height of the tides varies according to the positions of the sun and moon in relation to the earth when the moon is in the first quarter and again when it is in third quarter the moon earth and sun forms a right angle the gravitational forces therefore are opposed causing only a small difference between high and low tide such tides are called neap tides however the moon earth and sun forming a straight line in the full moon and also at the new moon the high tides then become higher and low tides lower these are called spring tides the tidal range in the open sea the tidal range is no more than a few centimeters and in the enclosed basins such as the mediterranean it is a little more than 30 centimeters however in shallow seas it may be more than 6 meters and tidal estuaries and in tidal estuaries 12 to 15 meters the highest tidal range recorded is about 16 meters in the bay of fundy in eastern canada the seabed it consists of different zones the shallowest of which is the continental shelf that lies between the coast and 
the 200 meter depth counter. The shelf area occupies 7.5% of the sea floor and corresponds to the submerged portion of the continental crust. It is broader where the shore is the edge of a plain and it is narrow if mountains constitute the coast. The continental slope meets the abyssal plain at a more gentle slope called the continental rise. Deposits on the ocean floor In the view of the present trends of population explosion, the man's future on the earth may largely depend on his knowledge of the ocean's potential resources of food, minerals and energy. Deep sea sediments are related to temperature of the surface waters, depth, distance from the land, etc. Terrigenous deposits consist of mineral particles derived from the weathering of land rocks. They are carried to sea by rivers and winds and are found near the coast. The pelagic deposits are found on the deep sea floor which is often blanketed by ooze which is formed by the endless fall on it of the shells and skeletons of the countless tiny planktonic animals and algae. Existence of manganese nodules were discovered on the ocean floor.